Good evening. Today we will be covering the post-market update dated the 19th of May 2023. The Indian equity market closed higher on May 19, snapping a three-day losing streak led by buying in information technology, auto and banking names in a highly volatile session. At close the Nifty up 73.40 points or 0.4% at 18,203.40 while the Sensex ended up 298 points, or 0.48% at 61,729.68. Now, talking about the three stocks that have managed to be in gainers list today are Adani Enterprises, Adani Ports, Tata Motors. On the other hand, we will talk about those three stocks which ended as top losers. They are Divi's Lab, Britannia, and Tata Consumer Product. They fell within the range of negative 1.40% to 1.75%. For the development in the corporate segment, we have. Pfizer Incorporation is planning to raise $31 billion through its largest debt offering to finance its proposed acquisition of CGN Incorporation. The company struck a $43 billion deal in March to acquire CGN and its targeted cancer therapies as it prepares for a steep fall in COVID-19 sales and generic competition for some top-selling drugs. Pfizer has been pumping billions of dollars into research and acquisitions to mitigate an anticipated $17 billion hit to revenue by 2030 from patent, expirations for top drugs and a decline in demand for COVID products. The debt offering, which would be in eight tranches, is expected to close on May 19. Nexus Select Trust was listed with a decent premium of 3% over the issue price of 100 rupees per unit on the National Stock Exchange on May 19. This is the fourth REIT listing on the bourses since 2019. Nexus has a well-diversified tenant base of 1,044 domestic and international brands, with 2,893 stores as of December 2022 and is also well diversified across cities with no single asset and tenant contributing more than 18.3% and 2.8% of total gross rentals for December 2022. Gland Pharma has registered a 72% year-on-year decline in profit at Rs 78.7 crore for quarter, ended March financial year 2023, dented by weak operating numbers and lower top line. Revenue from operations fell 29% year on year to 785 rupees crore in quarter 4, financial year 2023, with lower growth across markets. Production line shut down in quarter 4, financial year 2023, in Pashamilaram Penem's facility due to line upgradation and reduced business from domestic B2C division during the year as compared to previous year also impacted. Wipro announced a five-year business partnership with ServiceNow to drive business transformation, overcome business challenges, and deliver greater value. The agreement is expected to help accelerate Wipro's goal of building a $1 billion business with ServiceNow by the end of 2026. Arham Technologies Limited in daily time frame is trading at 67 points with a change of 14.82%, and is trading with a net volume of around 159,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 60.8 which is a good indication for the stock. Shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 65. An RSI of above 50 may indicate that the stock is in overbought region. Par Drugs and Chemical Limited in daily time frame is trading around 213 points with a change of 11.5% and is trading with a net volume of around 289,000 shares. The share price is trading above its moving average 178.9. While, shares are trading with a relative strength index of around 84.4. Clean Science and Technology looks good on current market price of 1496. It can be bought at 1500 rupees keeping target of 1800 rupees with stop loss of 1375. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via a call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the video for the latest updates in the market.